Graham is the most inspiring person I can ever meet. He competed for Britain in every major athletics competition from 1977 to 1987. He skied for Britain at the Winter Olympics, played cricket at Lords, even ran a London marathon, and for a while held the British high jump record for the blind. A few weeks before he passed away, my two boys and I visited him at his home. My seven-year-old, Charlie, innocently asked Graham, who, bear in mind, just had his leg amputated, could we go outside and play footy? To my amusement, Graham got up and, supported by his crutches, swung his good leg at the ball, taking his shots. My boys were really impressed by how many times he scored. When the pain became too much, he sat in his wheelchair and his head ached. This spirit had always been there. His parents saw it pretty much from the start. Straight away he follows it. Finally, they gave me an appointment at Moorfield's Eye Hospital. After two and a half hours being passed from doctor to doctor, I was introduced to Mr. Mason. Would you mind if the nurse takes Graham for a moment? I'd like a word with you in private. It was as if he didn't want Graham to be. Mrs. Salmon, the white you can see is a tumour. We have to take his eye away. You must bring him at two o'clock on Monday next week.